Embarking on a journey to become a game developer is both exciting and challenging. The path is filled with opportunities for creativity, technical growth, and personal expression. To navigate this path successfully, a structured step-by-step -step learning and career development plan can make all the difference. Let's walk through a comprehensive roadmap from foundational skills to advanced career milestones so you can turn your passion for gaming into a thriving profession. In the beginning, focus on building a solid foundation. The first stage, which spans one to three months, is all about understanding the core concepts of programming and game design. If you're new to programming, it's recommended to start with SEO or Python. Both are widely used, beginner-friendly, and have a wealth of learning resources. Code Academy, Free Code Camp, and Udemy offer interactive courses tailored for absolute beginners. As you dive into programming, pay special attention to variables, loops, functions, and classes. Object-Oriented Programming, or OOP, is especially crucial as it forms the backbone of most modern game engines. While learning to code, it's equally important to grasp the fundamentals of game design. This isn't just about how a game looks or feels. It's about understanding what makes games fun and engaging. Concepts like game mechanics, storytelling, and player motivation are essential. For deeper insights, consider reading The Art of Game Design by Jesse Schell, a classic book that breaks down the principles behind successful games. Once you've built some programming and design fundamentals, it's time to choose a game engine. Unity is an excellent choice for beginners, especially if you've started learning CSU. It's widely used in the industry and has a vast community of support. If you're more interested in high-end 3D graphics, you might explore Unreal Engine, which uses C++. Both engines offer extensive documentation and tutorials, making them accessible to newcomers. After establishing your foundation, move on to developing your core skills over the next three to six months. This is where you start turning ideas into playable prototypes. Dive deeper into your chosen game engine. Unity, for example, offers Unity Learn, a platform filled with step-by-step -step tutorials, and you'll find many helpful lessons from Brackies on YouTube. Starting with 2D games is usually more approachable, but as you gain confidence, you can progress to 3D projects. Building small, manageable projects is essential at this stage. Recreate classic games like Pong, Flappy Bird, or a simple platformer. Each project teaches unique lessons. Pong introduces collision detection, while a platformer challenges you with player movement and physics. Throughout this process, start using Git for version control. It's a vital tool in game development, allowing you to track changes, collaborate, and safeguard your work. Math and physics play a pivotal role in game development, even for seemingly simple games. Learn the basics of vector math, which underpins movement and collision detection. Raycasting, for example, is a technique used for line of sight and shooting mechanics. Don't be intimidated. There are plenty of beginner-friendly tutorials that break down these concepts into manageable pieces. Integrating assets like sprites, animations, and sound effects brings your games to life. Familiarize yourself with tools such as Photoshop or Asaprite for 2D art and Blender for 3D modeling. Even basic knowledge of these tools will help you create and import custom assets, making your games more personal and engaging. As you reach the intermediate development stage, typically within 6 to 12 months, it's time to build more complete games. Set a goal to create a finished game with a start menu, multiple levels, scoring, and clear win or lose conditions. Publish your game on platforms like itch.io, Android, or even Steam for desktop games. The act of publishing teaches you about packaging, distribution, and receiving feedback from real players. At this stage, begin exploring basic artificial intelligence for games. Learn about pathfinding algorithms like A. Me, D, D, E, which enable enemies to navigate around obstacles. Finite state machines, or FSMs, are another foundational concept, helping to manage different states of enemy behavior, such as patrolling or chasing the player. Deepen your technical understanding by studying essential data structures and algorithms. These may seem abstract, 
but they're invaluable for optimizing performance and designing robust gameplay systems. For example, understanding how arrays, lists, and trees work enables you to manage game objects efficiently. If you're interested in multiplayer experiences, start looking into game networking frameworks. Unity Netcode, Photon, and Godot's multiplayer features allow you to experiment with real-time player interactions, whether it's a cooperative puzzle or a competitive shooter. Over the next one to two years, you'll reach the specialization phase. By now, you'll have a better sense of your strengths and interests within game development. This is the perfect time to focus your skills in a particular area. If you prefer programming, explore advanced topics like the Entity Component System, ECS architecture, which is used to create scalable and performant games. Shaders, which control how graphics are rendered, open up a world of visual effects. If you gravitate toward design, hone your skills in level creation, gameplay balancing, and crafting compelling user experiences. Artists can deepen their expertise in 2D or 3D software, learning advanced techniques in tools like Maya or Blender. Those interested in audio can explore middleware tools such as FMOD and learn the basics of music production and sound design. Participating in game jams, short themed competitions like Ludum Dare or the GMTK Jam is an excellent way to practice rapid development and teamwork. These events push your creativity and teach you how to work under pressure, valuable skills in both indie and professional environments. As you specialize, start building a portfolio website. Showcase your best games, share your source code on platforms like GitHub, and write developer logs or blogs about your process. A strong portfolio not only demonstrates your technical ability, but also your passion and communication skills. With a solid learning foundation, you're ready for career development. The first phase is entry-level preparation. Aim to complete three to five strong portfolio projects. Quality matters more than quantity. Each project should demonstrate a clear concept, polished execution, and evidence of your problem-solving skills. Create a professional resume and LinkedIn profile. Highlight your technical skills, completed projects, and any team experiences, such as game jams or collaborations. Start applying for internships, junior game developer roles, or indie collaborations. Even unpaid or volunteer positions can provide valuable experience and industry connections. As you transition into the industry over the next two years, look for opportunities at small studios or consider freelancing. Platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, and GameDev.net connect you with clients seeking game development expertise. Use this time to learn essential teamwork tools, including project management platforms like Jira and Trello, as well as version control systems like Git. Contributing to open source projects or indie games is another great way to build experience and grow your network. These projects often welcome enthusiastic contributors and you'll learn a lot from collaborating with others. As your skills mature over the next two to five years, seek out opportunities to work on larger projects. These may involve more complex systems, bigger teams, and longer development cycles. Attend industry conferences such as GDC or SIGGRAPH, where you can learn from experts, discover new technologies, and connect with potential employers or collaborators. At this stage, consider learning a second game engine. If you started with Unity, exploring Unreal Engine will broaden your technical toolkit and open doors to different types of projects. Advanced systems such as animation pipelines and graphics programming become increasingly relevant especially for those aiming for technical or lead roles. Reaching advanced roles or venturing into indie development often comes after five or more years in the industry. By now, you may aspire to become a lead developer, technical director, or even start your own studio. Launching a commercial game on platforms like Steam or consoles is a major milestone. As you take on greater responsibility, diversify your skills to include monetization strategies, marketing, and publishing. These are essential for bringing your games to a wider audience and achieving commercial success. Throughout your journey, leverage a wealth of recommended resources. YouTube channels like Brackies, GameDev.TV, CodeMonkey, and GameMaker's Toolkit offer tutorials, deep dives, and design analyses. Books such as Game Programming Patterns and Level Up, The Guide to Great Video Game Design, 
provide both technical and creative guidance. Engage with game development communities, including Reddit's Arshbarsh, GameDev, Discord servers, and official forums for engines like Unity and Godot. These communities are invaluable for troubleshooting, feedback, and networking. In summary, becoming a game developer is a marathon, not a sprint. By progressing through each stage, building foundational knowledge, developing core skills, specializing, and steadily advancing your career, you'll gain the expertise and confidence needed to create memorable games and thrive in the industry. Stay curious, keep building, and remember that every game you make is a step forward on your journey.